Uh, my wife, Michelle, is there, and she could give you a much longer list than I do. Uh, and most of the time, I learn it by asking her. Uh, but look, the nature of the challenges that we're going to face are immense. And uh, one of the things that we know about the presidency is that it's never the challenges that you expect. It's the challenges that you don't that end up consuming most of your time. Uh, but here's what I do know. I know that I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for the fact that this country gave me opportunity. You know, I came from very modest means. I had a single mom, and my grandparents raised me, and it was because of the help of scholarships and, and my grandmother scrimping on uh, things that you know, she might have, have wanted to purchase, and, and my mom at one point getting food stamps in order for us to put food on the table. Despite all that, I was able to go to the best schools on earth. I was able to succeed uh, in a way that I could not have succeeded anywhere else in this country. The same is true for Michelle, and I'm sure the same is true for a lot of you. And the question in this election is, are we going to pass on that same American dream to the next generation? Over the last eight years, we've seen that dream diminish. Wages and incomes have gone down. People have lost their health care or are going bankrupt because they get sick. We've got young people who've got the grades and the will and the drive to go to college, but they just don't have the money. And we can't expect that if we do the same things that we've been doing over the last eight years, that somehow we are going to have a different outcome. We need fundamental change. That's what's at stake in this election. That's the reason I decided to run for president. Uh, and I'm hopeful uh, that all of you uh, are prepared to continue this extraordinary journey uh, that we call America. Uh, but we're going to have to have the courage and the sacrifice, the nerve, to move in a new direction. Thank you.